Peace be with you. This is Ben Thompson with the Free Citizens of America. And today I'd like to talk about kind of the opposite of what we talked about last time. Now, in case you didn't see, last time we talked about that there are seven labor fields that are acceptable in God's path. Now, there is one path that is not acceptable to the Lord and is considered evil, and I'm going to call it the labor of the devil, because that's really what it is. Now you're thinking, what exactly is that? It's only, it's only one. There's only one. And everything stems out of this. This one thing. The labor of the devil is mercantilism. Now, describe mercantilism. Okay, I will. It is a system where you exchange uh, goods for money. Now, I'm not talking about like the small little tiny businesses run by local ma and pa shops and stuff like that. That is not mercantilism. Mercantilism of today is found through the big multinational corporations that have one purpose to, um, to make money but that is not the real purpose the real purpose is to bring about a one world order that they call the new world order and they use their money and power to push it as far as they can the bible describes of mercantilism and yeah, the best the, one of the first places we are going to see is in is actually in the book of Revelation and it says in chapter 18 starting in in verse 11 and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise any more, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all fine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which are dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off, for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads, and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, wherein we made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour she is made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeteers shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee, 
and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee, for thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. So the merchants in these last days, and in all days, they are trying to establish this Babylon society, wherein you can buy anything, literally anything, even slaves and the souls of men. And it was the merchants who deceived the nations, and they did it by their, it says here, sorceries. And that the merchants were the great men of the earth. Now, if we go back into Isaiah, chapter 23, and it goes on for several chapters, The, the burden of Tyre, or better translated as the prophecy of Tyre, I, I have actually translated this chapter, and I learned something when translating this chapter, and I'm going to read that. First, I'm going to read it in the King James Version, then I'm going to give you my translation. My translation. This is Isaiah chapter 23, verse 8. It says, Who hath taken this counsel against Tyre, the crowning city, whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth? So, here's my translation now. It says, the same verse. Who planned this upon Tyre, the giver of crowns, whose merchants are rulers, whose merchants burden the earth? Now it says here in the King James Version, the the that the the it says it calls the merchants or princes in Hebrew it means rulers. And, the, and uh, whose merchants burdened the earth. Whereas in the King James Version it says whose traffickers, or that's in, the, in Hebrew that means um, merchant, are the honorable of the earth. In Hebrew, honorable is a double word. It can mean honorable in a good way or a negative way. And when it is negative, it means burden. And that's what it's saying. So it's, it's these merchants who burdened the earth. And this, this vision of Tyre is actually using the city of Tyre and comparing it to the merchants in, in Revelation. Or actually, Revelation came second. But John is seeing the extension of that vision. Tyre is the merchants of the earth in, um, in Revelation. And um, it says here in, in Isaiah chapter 23, verse 17, it says, It shall come to pass after the end of seventy years that the Lord will visit Tyre, and she shall turn to her hire, and shall commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. Uh, this is back going back to the reference in in a revelation of the the merchants, and so mercantilism is evil before the Lord. Now the thing that I learned from translating that chapter in Isaiah, actually in a later chapter. 
is that the word Canaan in describing the Canaanites also means merchant and so when the the Lord is talking about Canaanites he can also be talking about merchants and in fact that's what they were they were merchants the when the children of Israel came into the the Holy Land the, the, those people are called the people of Canaan the Canaanites which is the merchants and so whenever there is an opposition system to the Lord it is always based on mercantilism with mercantilism comes banking with banking comes usury which is forbidden by the Lord in addition to that comes bureaucracy bureaucracy is a nightmare if you, if you work in an office setting you know that with bureaucracy comes corruption and these merchants they don't care about your own personal safety they need you to buy their product in order for them to have power so they spend lots of money trying to get you to buy their products now here's another interesting thing I learned in Hebrew from from this discussion and that is the one the the word used in describing someone who gives a loan can also mean deceive so in a sense when it when it talks about somebody loaning money you could you can use somebody deceiving him money and so this whole concept of money is corrupt before the lord and that's why I say that mercantilism is the eighth labor and it is the labor of the devil. And I leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.